What's up guys, it's Sam. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to do a complete drugstore makeup tutorial. If you are new here, nice to meet you. If you're a returning subscriber, good to see you again. I'm so excited. This is the very first video I'm filming on my brand new camera, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that it looks pretty good so far, so we'll have to see what it looks like when I'm editing. But anywho, if you've been following along, I went to Europe about a month ago, and before I left, I just really needed a whole new refresh on almost all my makeup so I decided to go to Walmart and literally I scrolled on TikTok and found the best drugstore product for each step of my makeup routine and that's what I bought so I'm gonna go through it with you guys right now and show you everything that I've been using and honestly like I'm not that good at my makeup <laughs> just to preface I'm definitely not a professional makeup artist by any means but I'm not bad at doing like a natural look at least I don't think so so to be honest with you like I've bought a lot of high-end makeup in the past and I don't really see a huge huge difference you know what I mean so I think that even drugstore makeup is getting really expensive recently so so if you can save a little bit of money by going for a drugstore product over a high-end one, I think that you should. So I will leave the links to everything that I use down in the description box if you guys are interested. And let's get started. Okay, so my video after this also is going to be like a bathroom makeover um, and organizational video. Like a lot of you guys really liked my closet cleanup video, so I'm kind of doing something similar in my bathroom. Like I'm very thankful and very grateful for all the PR I get, but I have like just so many things piled up in here. Like I don't even use any of it because I can't find anything. So that will be the next video. I'm starting out just with a primer. I've already moisturized my face. To be honest with you guys, this isn't the one that I have bought recently. I can't find it. It. but the one that I would recommend for you guys for drugstore is the Neutrogena one. I'll put it right here and I'll link it below as well. Right now I'm just using the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer and I don't think there's anything wrong with this one at all but I just think the other one's like lighter. It's a little bit more like a moisturizer and like a little bit more luminescent. I used to slick back all the time and I finally bought these things from Amazon and that's what I tried to use today. It was pretty easy considering it's like a glue stick form. So I like that a lot. Now we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Rewind Concealer. I like thought this was new and apparently it's been around literally forever and I've just been living under a rock. And also all the jewels I have on right now are from Ana Luisa. So I really like that brand a lot. It's a pretty good price point for pretty high quality jewelry. It's where I get a lot of my stuff from from um, these earrings are called the Paris style and I get compliments on them every single time I wear them. They're really light, but they're gold plated and they have titanium backs. So if you have like skin that's sensitive to jewelry, these are really, really good. And I also really like this bangle from them and this little silver chain. I also have silver huggies um, that I wear all the time if I'm not wearing these. And I think we're just gonna use our hands. And I have really been into their jewelry lately I've been trying to do more of like a minimalist approach to 2023 in the way where I would rather have like five key jewelry pieces that I keep in rotation than having like tons and tons of jewelry especially with traveling and stuff that's just easier so if you're like me and you're trying to do that I think that Anna Luisa is a good brand to look at because like I said um these are like $75 but they're gold plated, so it's not like you're paying for like solid gold, but I think that the price point is reflective of how it looks. Like they don't look cheap at all. So just another thing to think about. I'm also horrific at color matching. Maybe it's the jersey in me, but I just love being tan. I wanna be tan all year round. Clearly I am not. Look how pale I am right now. This is like the palest I am all year because it's January. Typically, I feel like when I'm buying makeup, I buy it in like a wishful thinking standpoint. Like, oh yeah, like my skin will be that color because I get tan in the summer. But what I'm applying currently like does not match my skin <laughs> at all. But moving right along. I have this like cystic pimple. So like my skin, look, pretty clear, right? My skin is like always clear. I don't really get acne, but all of a sudden I'll get like one or two ridiculous cystic pimples. And like, I have to go to the dermatologist and get shots in my face and it's like this whole big thing. So I just have to do that with this one. And I'm kind of sad because I think this one's gonna be a scar, but 
you know, I guess it's just a beauty mark. But it's the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This is the star of the show of this video. I'm obsessed. This is my second bottle of this. And I love, love, love this. As I said, definitely like not my color. But just so you get like the idea, it feels like a serum. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. It's really light. Um, it has buildable coverage, but it's not one of those things where I like can't see my freckles through it and stuff like that. So I really like this. And obviously I'm pretty sure it has hyaluronic acid in here too, which um, yeah, which is really good for your skin. Just like going in with my hands today. Sorry, I haven't been um, as active in the beginning of the year on YouTube as I would like to. Going forward, I really wanna make it a goal to try and post two videos a week. And I don't really think, obviously that's like not, not doable. It just like depends on how busy I am with everything else on my schedule. Because if I'm just doing content and stuff, like that's very doable. But like this week I have like three modeling shoots too that are all day. So if you think about it, then I only have four days to do this and when I'm trying to do like TikToks every day and Instagram every day and shoot for that. It's been getting to be a lot in the beginning of the year because I've also just like really been unlucky with like some other things in my life. <laughs> recently, which 2023 is going to be the best year of my life and I knew that, but um, the start of the year hasn't quite been um, as, as of a start as I would have liked, but that's okay because it's going to get better. But yeah, so just so you guys know, that is the plan <laughs> moving forward. I'm kind of too much. Also, like, I don't know if it's just me, but inflation has been like blowing my mind. Like the prices of things recently um, is crazy and like it's not just like makeup and products, but like also food and everything. Like, I don't know how people are living right now. But anyway, where are they? I bought Lumify drops, right? The other day before modeling shoot. And I think like the last time I bought them, they were maybe like 14 bucks. Like still not cheap, but like maybe 14 bucks. I bought Lumify drops at CVS this week. And for a small bottle, like it, it was literally like this big, $27. I was like, what? Like, I don't know, man, but that's why we're going for drugstore makeup. We're bowling on a budget. Need a little blendy. One sec. Here are those Lumify drops. Can you believe it? Got a little beauty blender. Make sure to wet it always. Oh my gosh, I forgot to set up my Alex Earl light. Should we do it now or is it like stupid to do it in the middle of the video? I didn't get the one that clips on your phone. I just got a different one, but I still really like it. I'll link this too in the description box. Look how bright, it's crazy. <laughs> and you can adjust it so it's like it gets brighter or you can make it more warm or more cool i think i like it cool oh my gosh this is so much better sorry guys i know it's halfway through but like we're just gonna have to add that one in also showing me how shiny i am okay fresh canvas okay and now for contour i know that we've all seen alex earl use the maybelline fit me in shade this is shade uh 60 coco and she was like, a little goes a long way. And also this like lasted her forever. And like, she's so right. This is gonna literally last me forever. Oh wait, I wanna do like the top two because I'm gonna have a bigger forehead. Okay. Now I usually just take this fanny brush and oh my God. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. Don't come for me. <laughs> If any makeup artist is watching this right now, they're probably cringing. I used to like, since I wasn't that good at makeup, think that I should be wearing a shit ton. And now I realize that like less is really more. And I love how right now, like the beauty trends, like everything is like the clean girl aesthetic. So it's like the things that are in really are like more minimal. Like natural beauty is king. You know what I mean? I think that everyone's prettiest really in their natural state. Like obviously I like a little bit of makeup, but I think that like a natural look on me is a lot prettier than like a full glam. Oh my gosh, if anyone has any idea how it's easiest to get all the photos off of your phone, please let me know. That's like one thing that I've really been dealing with. I like have to get a new phone because of security issues and I have 170,000 photos. The people at Geek Squad were like, um, just like buy a flash drive to plug into my phone and I have so many that it like won't work. And they were like basically that I had to drag and drop it like little by little. And I was like, this is just isn't gonna work. Like it's gonna take six months. So if anyone has any suggestions on what to do for that let me know because that's been a big stressor for me i'm gonna do the wet and wild eyeshadow i usually like 
don't do this in the middle of everything else I'm doing, but whatever. Just go for like the light one. I've heard that bronzy colors are um, the most complimentary for blue eyes, which is why I really like this little palette. I travel with this a lot. I also got a little case for this camera. It's really cute. It's like pink and it's like a silicone covering um, because my last camera, the amount of times I dropped it, like I can't believe it actually worked as long as it did. Like I remember pumping gas in LA and filming <laughs> on like my rear view mirror and it just like falling to the ground. And there was just so many times like I had dropped it in the sand and dropped it in the airport. And like this one, we're taking a lot better care of you, okay? A little sparkles. Oh my gosh, that looks like way more sparkly on camera than it does in person. So this is like technically, I think my first video I'm filming in 2023. I'm really, really excited for this year. I have a really good feeling about it. I have a really good feeling about my modeling career as well as my social media career. I just think that this year is like what I've, I don't know. I just like feel like everything I've been working towards and working hard for is gonna really start to pay off this year. Okay, Wet n Wild Boost Me Up Brow Serum. It's just like a clear gel. So we're just gonna brush these babies up. My eyebrows are like such cousins. They're not sisters and they're definitely not twins, but it's like really gotten better, I think. But I used to have like one that was like a super crazy arch and one that was like pretty flat. Still kind of look like that, but. I'm gonna do this Wet n Wild Bare Focus Finishing Powder because my forehead gets mad shiny. This is like one thing I like to keep in my purse sometimes. I thought this Revlon blush was really pretty. It has like a little bit, can you see? It has like a little bit of sparkle to it. I like to bring blush across my nose. It makes you get like kind of a sun-kissed little glow. It's more than enough, holy shit. Milani Maranzer. I like to go under here, give myself a shadow so I don't have a double chin, you know? If you haven't watched my blush out tutorial, make sure you do. Okay. For a highlight, I really love the Wet n Wild Hello Halo. Um, it's a liquid, and when I tell you you need the smallest bit, like I got my first one of these in college, and I had to buy a new one because it was like gonna expire before I needed like more product. It's like literally that's all you need, and you just make sure you blend it though, because this is one of those things like in the sunlight, it's very easy to see if it's like a streak, you know? So I'm on the tip of my nose and top lip. Now we're gonna go in with the CoverGirl lip liner. Also like no hate at all to all the girls who are getting their lips filled because it's a lot of them. And a lot of it looks really good. And I'm not saying I would never do it, but I'm like, has anyone ever tried lip liner? Like I actually think if you overline your lips, it actually looks like lip filler. Like remember this one photo I posted? There was like 10 people that were like, where'd you get your lips done? And I was like, it's lip liner. And I don't think they believe me, but I, that's really what it was. It's also one of those things like overlining your lips though is a lot easier to fake on camera than it is in person. I never know if I should be filling them like all the way in or just like the outline. But the whole time I was in Europe, I was really into like this peachy kind of look. And I also got this CoverGirl lipstick. Kind of goes with the liner. I was not curling my lashes until I started watching Alex Earl, like the rest of the world. And then I was like, I, I can't do the eyeball thing like her, sorry. <laughs> but um, I was like, wow, it really does make such a difference. And now we're gonna do the Big Papa Wet n Wild um, mascara. I'm gonna do this off camera really quick. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot the NYX white liner. Okay, and there you have it. Just an everyday basic makeup routine. Like I said, all the products I used are drugstore products that can be found at Walmart or CVS or whatever, and I will link everything down below. And I will also put my 10% off code for Ana Luisa in the description box. Make sure to check them out as well. And thank you for hanging out with me while I did my makeup today. I'm so excited to start being on YouTube more consistently again. And I have a lot of fun content coming soon. So let's have a good 2023, everybody.